Sarah Jacobs. Loudoun County officials answer questions and concerns over a safe haven center in the community. I'm Shana Stulen. What's happening to a proposal to give smart trip cards a $5 bonus? I'm John Aaron. Thanks for listening. It's midnight. This is CBS News on the Hour, your home for original reporting. I'm Monica Ricks in New York. International calls are growing for a war crimes investigation on Russia. CBS's Charlie Daggett is in Kyiv with more on the devastation, including an airstrike on a hospital in Ukraine. A day after the airstrike that ripped through the maternity hospital in Mariupol. <laughs> No mercy in the response from Russia's foreign minister. It's not the first time we've heard pathetic shrieks about so-called atrocities committed by Russia's armed forces, he said. Sergei Lavrov insisted the hospital was a legitimate target, being used as a base by radical militants. But there are other sections of Ukraine in ruins because of Russian bombing and shellings over the last two weeks. The U.S. Senate has passed a sweeping spending bill that helps Ukraine. CBS's Rebecca Kaplan. The Senate approved $13.6 billion in military and humanitarian aid for Ukraine Thursday night as part of a $1.5 trillion spending package to fund the government through the end of September. The aid package will fund U.S. military deployments to NATO states in the region and provide billions in food and health care for refugees fleeing Ukraine, while also preparing the U.S. to respond to cyber threats from Russia. The bill now heads to the White House for President Biden's signature. Two young American women are back home in the U.S. after getting rescued by Saudi Arabia in Yemen. It was part of a special ops mission with the U.S. The teens were being held by Iran-backed Houthi rebels. Jesse Smollett has started serving 150 days behind bars for lying to police about a fake racist and homophobic attack in Chicago. Special Prosecutor Dan Webb. Office of Special Prosecutor is extraordinarily pleased with the result today. But Smollett did not go out without a fight. If I did this, then means that I stuck my fist in the fears of black Americans in this country for over 400 years and the fears of the LGBTQ community. Your Honor, I respect you and I respect the jury, but I did not do this. He was convicted back in December. After 99 days, Major League Baseball's acrimonious lockout is finally over. Commissioner Rob Manfred. Time and economic leverage. And, you know, no agreement comes together before those two things play out in a way that you find common ground. The Players Association has accepted management's offer to salvage the season that will start April 7th. Training camps open Friday. Ever see someone try to steer a steer off a road? Well, it happened near L.A. on the 210 freeway. Police tried to angle the animal away from traffic, and it ran around a shopping center for a while before getting herded off. It was safe. This is CBS News. WTOP at 12.03. Good Friday morning, March 11th, 2022. Partly cloudy, patchy fog by daybreak. The low holding in the 30s. We're at 34 in our nation's capital right now. Dean Blaine, we thank you for taking us along for your early morning ride. Topping the local stories we're looking at for you as we ride into this Friday together, we begin with a disturbing story out of Northeast D.C. this morning. A woman is dead after being shot inside her car near 18th Street and Benning Road, happening just after 6 last evening, Thursday night. D.C. police say two toddlers were also inside the car when the shooting happened. They were uninjured. The relationship this morning between the woman and the children currently unknown. The woman died at the scene. Police are now this morning looking for two men who were last seen fleeing westbound towards Gale Street. WTLP at 12.04. Now we turn to the rising cost of gas and what you're paying at the pump this morning. The average price in the U.S. hit 4 bucks 32 cents a gallon this week. That's up 7 cents from Wednesday. So Maryland's governor and fiscal leaders in Annapolis to that end say they're ready to help by lifting the 37 cent gas tax and it's being fast-tracked. Maryland's legislative leaders say they're united in an effort to suspend the state's nearly 37 cent gas tax for 30 days. Senate President Bill Ferguson and House Speaker Adrian Jones issued the statement after Governor Larry Hogan said he'd work with lawmakers on the emergency action. Comptroller Peter Francho called for a three month gas tax holiday during a meeting where he announced the state's surplus is now projected at more than $7.5 billion. Kate Ryan, WTOP News.
In Richmond, Democratic leaders in the House of Delegates want Virginia Governor Glenn Youngkin to declare a state of emergency over gas prices. Minority leader Eileen filler Corn of Fairfax County calling on the governor to activate the Virginia Post-Disaster Anti-Price Gouging Act. It would allow all the attorney generals to protect, it would allow the attorney general, that is, to protect drivers from what she calls unconscionable prices at the pump. But a spokesperson for AG Jason Myaris says this morning he needs an executive order from the governor first on this. Former Governor Ralph Northam activated the measure last year after suspected Russian hackers engaged in a cyber attack on the Colonial Pipeline. Three Frederick County Middle School students this morning facing hate crime charges stemming from racist threats posted to social media. Middletown's a very close-knit community. It's got an excellent school, local school system and feeder system. It's really too strong of a community to allow this to divide Middletown. Frederick County Sheriff Chuck Jenkins said since the threat surfaced on social media Wednesday, the Sheriff's Office has made the investigation its priority. The three students allegedly involved are being charged with a racial hate crime. One of them is facing a weapons possession charge. Frederick County Sheriff's Lieutenant Jason Dieter. Uh, we accounted for all the firearms that you saw in the pictures. Two of them were fake. Well, I think one was a BB gun and one might have been an airsoft. The students are not in school at this time. Frederick County Public School says it will be following up with disciplinary action. In Frederick, Sarah Jacobs, WTOP News. WTOP News time now. 1206 federal prosecutors have filed a new indictment against Baltimore State's attorney Marilyn Mosby with new details about the fraud allegations she faces right now. Mosby is charged with two counts of making false statements on a loan application, two counts of perjury. And in this new indictment, prosecutors say this morning Mosby wrote a letter apparently to her mortgage company falsely claiming she had been living in Florida and working remotely and was looking to purchase a second vacation home in the state. They also allege she submitted a fraudulent gift letter to a mortgage company last year falsely claiming her husband had given her 5000 bucks to make the down payment on a vacation property she was hoping to buy. Mosby says the case is politically motivated. The first group of Afghan evacuees arriving at the National Conference Center in Lansdowne, Virginia. Around 1,000 asylum seekers could be processed through the center each month. At a Q&A this week, county officials answering questions residents had about security and about how they could help out. We've had a lot of innovative requests. Loudon Board of Supervisors member Mike Turner says if you want to volunteer time or donate goods to the families and children that will be staying at the center, there's a FEMA rep who will be handling all those requests and he'll make sure your offers get sent over. But he says the evacuees will only be there about two to four weeks before being resettled in other parts of the country and they'll have much of what they need at the center. There has been pushback by some residents over security concerns. Turner says these evacuees have been going through a months-long vetting process overseas. And they are also well-known to us. They are interpreters, they are judges, they are reporters. The federal operation in Loudoun County is expected to end by this September. Shana Stulen, WTOP News. Finding the right person for the job isn't easy. Just ask someone who hired a karate teacher to trim their hedges. Man, these shrubs are not made of plywood. Don't worry, another few chops should do it. Yeah! Nope! Yeah! Dang! But if you've got an insurance question, you can always count on your local GEICO agent. They can bundle your policies, which could save you hundreds. Oh, this treehouse looks like particle board. Yeah! There we go. I'm starting to doubt myself. For expert help with all your insurance needs, visit geico.com slash local today. Dad deserves double the thanks this year. So this Father's Day, give him the power tool system that has everything for every job. The RYOBI One Plus tool system now on special buy. Over 260 RYOBI tools powered by one interchangeable 18-volt battery. And for a limited time, when you make a qualifying RYOBI purchase, you get one select tool or battery free. Feels like Father's Day at the Home Depot. How doers get more done. Offer valid through July 31st, 2022. Valid at participating stores and online. Limit one per transaction.